Hi, I just want to share a video of the squash book I made. This is my first squash book. I learned how to do it on uh, by watching YouTube videos and so this is what it looks like up close. Um, I just used a ribbon to tie it together. The ribbon is glued here and then it just wraps around and ties and there are a few, these are some tags and then there's just a little charm hanging off right here, a little tiny charm. Um, so I used the uh, Me Likey collection from Sass Frass and uh, I'll just show you what it looks like. So you just open it like this and then, um, whoops, this is what the cover looks like opened. It's about our trip to PEI. I just used a Tim Holtz uh, pin right there that says Argyle Shore because that's the part of PEI that we were. This I just hand cut out an element from a vintage uh, piece of cardstock with lots of travel related um, pictures on it. And added a little, a little uh, button. So this is what it looks like when it's all opened up. So there it is. So I'll just point out some elements uh, of it that are a little bit more interactive. I haven't completed the journaling here and here, um, but I do plan to do some writing there. Um, so just this is the first square. And so right here there are three tags. I made these tags using my slice. I forget which card, but there's a tag on one of the cards. And so this is a um, picture of my husband and the kids on the, um, on the ferry. And then on the back, there's just a little spot for journaling. Pretty simple. I just matted it. And this is, I just stamped the, I, I cut it out of plain yellow cardstock and stamped the background. And then I did the same thing here. That's a Tim Holtz background stamp uh, with blue and the same journaling on the back. And then that's a picture of the fairy um, and the journaling on the back. And then this is a Tim Holtz uh, tag and it says all aboard because in the tags in that pocket are all from the fairy. Um, and then I just put a little flower here and I'm going to put a little title here. And um, this is, I thought the ice cream paper worked well with the picture of uh, my daughter at the cow's ice cream place. And then this right here is, whoops, sorry I'm off camera. This right here is um, actually interactive. It's a tag that pulls out from the bottom here. And then it says, fun in the sun. And that is one of the kids who was in our group that we went to uh, PEI with. And then on the back, it says friend. And that is one of the other kids in the group. Um, a bunch of families, we all go on vacation together every year. And so these are not my children, they're kids of the other families. So that goes in there like that. I just made it so that um, I wanted to get lots of pictures on this squash book and uh, the uh, I also didn't want it to be too cluttered. So these are the middle pieces. Uh, I put this, um, whoops, I'll just hold it still so you can see. So some of them are full pictures and others are just part pictures. This one here, here's the last um, square. And so this is a tag that pulls out. This is a picture of all the mothers. We all went to high tea in Victoria, so it's a picture of us. And then there's my, oops, my journaling right there on the back of it. So pretty simple tags. I didn't um, make anything too fancy here. Um, and then in this one, this is just a little um, stationery store envelope that I put some stickers and and this is a scarlet line stamp and so there are three tags in here I'm just gonna put this down um, three tags in here so here's one of them just stamped the back and put some whoops some pictures and here's another one and stamps on the back with some journaling and then there's the last one and some stamp on the back and then this actually slips out of here. I'm not sure that's the greatest idea, but um, this was the last interactive part that I made. So you'll see that there's actually a brad on the back of this one right there. And then this wraps around like that so that you can open this, which opens to this little piece of journaling here, which has the pair 
on the back and there's the pear on the front, the cutout of the pear. And then this is a picture of uh, the kids. And this is a picture of what that journaling is about. And then on the back this is just a vintage playing card um, from some game. I don't know where I got it, but it's a little playing card. And it has a pear, so I put it here because they're all pears. So. Thanks for looking. This is my squash book and um, is really fun to make. I love squash books because they're really inexpensive and easy and you just kind of, um, you know, put it, put it like that and of course if the charm isn't in there it folds perfectly um, really easily. And so that's it. Thanks for watching.